All right, so let's get straight to a coverage of uh, the ODM primaries and uh, other parties that are holding their primaries, including WIPER. And uh, we start off uh, our top story. And like I mentioned, uh, staggered ODM primaries continue this morning in Nakuru, Nyamira, and Taita Taveta counties together with Transoia. The process kicked off to a slow start in Nakuru and Taita Taveta. In Nyamira, the process has been put on hold over a dispute on whether to use the party's register or the one provided by IEBC. All right, so let's uh, link up with my colleague Chris Thayri joining us from Nyamira. Chris, thank you very much for joining us this morning. So we understand that there is uh, some sort of conflict over which register to use. So talk to us about who is backing which register. Well, Betty, that confusion still continues here in Nyamira County. I'm actually at Kibirigo Primary School in West Mugiranga constituency, and uh, what I can confirm at this specific polling station, the process has already started, but it started a little bit late since there were some issues. And as you can see, there's still uh, that confrontation uh, between uh, uh, some of the officials and, uh, of course, uh, those uh, who are here to uh, decide who will fly that uh, ODM ticket. And the issue is regarding the register to use. There are those who insist that uh, they should use uh, the ODM party register uh, so that uh, it can, uh, so that they can avoid uh, infiltration of members who are not ODM members. And, of course, there are those who uh, state that uh, there's no need of using the ODM register and that they should use uh, the IEBC register. At this polling centre at Kibirigo Primary School, uh, the process started uh, rather a bit late and mm -hmm. I'll just uh, want to talk to one of the party agents and uh, just to tell us uh, what was the issue initially uh, when uh, you started uh, this process. This process was supposed to start uh, way back at seven but uh, you ran late for one and a half hours. Maybe what's the reason why? No, the reason was that uh, the uh, 40 material materials were not arranged properly, so it took a bit of time to arrange the materials. Otherwise, the materials that arrived much had actually in time. But in the uh, process of trying to organize, it took a bit of time. Otherwise, it was, there was no snack. But, but there's, though, there are other polling centers where uh, with the, the primaries have been stopped due to uh, the party register, in terms of the register to use the IBC register or the party register. Here, this Kibirigo polling center, which register are you using? Yeah, initially there was that problem which uh, register should be used, either IPC or the party register, but anyway, eventually it was agreed, it's only the party register which is being used right now, mm -hmm. no IPC register. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks a lot. Uh, that is one of the agents, and uh, I'll just uh, here uh, sample another view from uh, one of the party agents, and uh, maybe just by telling us your name and uh, tell us how the process is ongoing. I'm Bernard Ching from Kebrigo Boring Station. The bird is going good, despite that it started late because of the weather was not all that nice. Road were bad, that's why we were late a bit. There are those who are, are, are claiming about, are, are protesting about the, the process, that it's low in terms of uh, verifying the names before you take your ballot paper and cast it. Uh, how is that process? The process is going very slow because we have very few cracks and the people are so many. You see, previously, polling station were men, now they, uh, they were binded to be one. That's why the, the photos are too many, cracks are too few. Yeah. Well, Betty, you had it. And uh, what I can confirm is that uh, at least at this uh, polling center, Kibirigo, a primary school, the process is ongoing, but uh, there's just a small uh, hiccup in terms of the process uh, being slow. So as you had it, uh, the clerks are not uh, many as compared to the number of voters. And the process, uh, I can just talk about uh, uh, Nyamira Primary School. I was there a few uh, minutes ago, and the process is yet to start uh, for now. We also had been informed that uh, this polling center the process had not yet started but uh, when we arrived here uh, they had already received uh, the register for the party but the information we have currently is that uh, at Nyamira Primary School and uh, other two or three other polling centers in West Mugirango constituency the process is just to start. Um, my cameraman Brian will help me so that we can uh, sample some of the issues here uh, a, little, a little bit of confusion here but uh, they're, they're accused 
There is a queue here, two queues, one for women and another for uh, men, uh, but are all here early, arrived here very early in the morning, eagerly awaiting to decide uh, who will fly uh, that flag. Well, matarajia kone yapi mama siku ya leo? Tupate kwa kikisha tumefanya mchucho three imesema. Na je, orodha ipi mgeta kutumia ya IBC ya maya ODM? IBC. Ah, okay. Th that is a different opinion. Uh, but uh, of course, uh, uh, they are here in this uh, Kibirigo Primary School polling center, at least uh, a good number. It is one of the polling centers in West Mugirango constituency. And of course, uh, there are various uh, positions that are elected positions that uh, they will be deciding by, by the close of the day. But of course, Betty, focus will uh, uh, be uh, on uh, the gubernatorial seat. That is where the, all the focus is because we know that already we have three aspirants, that's the incumbent John Nyagarama, and of course uh, the West Mugirango member of parliament who was served for two terms but decided to seek a higher seat, that's the gubernatorial seat, uh, that is Dr. James Gesami and mm. Dr. John uh, Kupenda, and those are the three uh, aspirants uh, who have declared their interest to fly the ODM ticket uh, for uh, come the August 8th elections. For other positions, uh, we know that uh, in uh, Nyamira constituency it has uh, four constituencies, that is Burabu, uh, Kitutu, uh, uh, Masaba and uh, of course uh, West Mugirango and North Mugirango. But uh, in uh, Kitutu Masaba and North Mugirango, we know that the members of parliament there, that is uh, uh, Timothy Busire of Kitutu Masaba and uh, Charles Gaini of North Mugirango, have already been uh, handed over direct tickets. And so uh, they are free and uh, they are ready and assured that uh, their names will be on the ballot. But of course, uh, when it goes to the uh, position of uh, senator, we know Eric Omogeni was handed over a direct uh, ticket as well as the current women representative of Nyamera County, that is Alice Chai. She was also handed over a direct uh, ticket. But of whoever will win uh, that uh, ODM uh, ticket uh, for the gubernatorial seat, it will not be a walk in the park, Betty, mm. since uh, other parties have already uh, lined up their candidates. For instance, Jubilee uh, has uh, Walter Nyambati, whom uh, is the former member of parliament for Kitutu Church, and we understand that uh, uh, he is a strong uh, contender, and of course he will be facing the person whom uh, the people or the ODM supporters will decide will fly the ODM ticket come the 8th of August, Betty. All right, uh, Chris, thank you very much for the details there. But just before I let you go, so what have they decided? Are they going to use the IEBC register or the ODM register? Well, they have decided that uh, what will be used is the ODM register. And uh, here at this uh, Kibirigo polling center, uh, we understand the process had uh, delayed because uh, the officials had not yet brought in the, uh, the party register. And when uh, the party register came, that's when the process began. At uh, Nyamira Primary School, where I was a few uh, minutes ago, is that the process is yet to begin until they receive the party register. This is because the argument they're saying is that uh, if they don't use the party register, then how can you tell that someone is a member of ODM? Then uh, the, the, their efforts or their claim is that uh, they want to ensure that uh, the process is not infiltrated by members uh, who don't believe the ideologies of ODM party and who are not members. And of course, uh, uh, the, their rallying uh, message and their point is that uh, unless the, the process is uh, uh, conducted using the party register, then that's when they are going to agree to continue with this process but at Kibirigo primary school the process ongoing uh, the queue uh, people still are continuing to arrive here remember that uh, it is uh, on a Tuesday it is a working day and uh, uh, this been uh, an agricultural area most people woke up very early in the morning uh, to milk their kettle and of course uh, uh, pluck tea and uh, take them to well, to the market uh, and then uh, of course at now it's 10 at least uh, they'll have time uh, to cast the ballot and uh, we know that by 5 p.m this process should have uh, uh, concluded so that a tallying can start, Betty. All right. Uh, Chris, uh, the other question, of course, uh, is uh, how strong are these other candidates compared uh, to the current governor, John Nyagarama? 
Well, Betty can say that uh, they are not uh, candidates uh, that you can uh, just uh, uh, rule them away. Remember that uh, uh, James, Dr. James Gesami, he has served the, the constituents of West Mugirango for two terms, and uh, he's been uh, an assistant minister for 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 health. He's served uh, in the health committee, and of course uh, he has uh, initiated various development projects here in uh, West Mugirango. Of course, uh, you can't also overrule the incumbent. The incumbent, uh, of course has a head start, given that uh, in terms of resources, uh, in terms of uh, uh, the manpower that he, he holds or commands in the, this county, and of course uh, the, the few, few uh, benefits that uh, he's going to dish out here and there for the constraints of uh, this uh, region, or he has been doing in terms of projects, uh, uh, constructing roads and uh, uh, keeping in touch with the, with the constraints, what they want. And uh, of course uh, this has been uh, uh, the last day uh, for uh, for, for him uh, to see whether he will fly the ODM ticket. Of course, we don't know uh, what uh, he holds, but uh, it has been uh, narrowed to a two-horse race, although there is Dr. John uh, Kumenda, who is the chairman of the Kisi Golf Club. But uh, for him, according uh, to uh, the residents here, is that uh, uh, for them, they're focusing on the two individuals. But let's uh, hope that the process, of course, will continue very well. Of course, Betty, security is an aspect to consider, uh, uh, going by what we've experienced in other counties when it comes uh, uh, to the ODM uh, nominations. And I can confirm at this polling center, they have at least 10 police officers who are armed and there is a vehicle uh, which uh, uh, a vehicle which